Hello everybody and welcome to the sixth part of our Dwarf Fortress adventure. Today we've actually had a request to do a bit of farming, that's from Inrisk, or Gary Oak as he's called now. Um, so today I'm going to focus on a bit of farming and then hopefully like a trade caravan might turn up, maybe uh, some more migrants, but we'll see. For the moment... Um, I'll just explain a bit about farms because farms I know at first they are quite a daunting prospect. They when I first heard of farm site they to me were really confusing. I really didn't understand what was going on. But they're actually really simple. So I'll just take you through the steps of them. Okay, basically what I'm gonna do is you can see in the uh, just there you could see my other farm there, you can see it there um, I set that a while ago, I tried to do a podcast for that, not podcast, sorry a video for that but it kind of went a bit funny um, so I'm going to do another one today what we need is an area of water, you can see there in the top left hand corner there's an area of water we're going to use that because we need to fertilise the land that's one of the most important things. You need to find like an underground lake, if possible. What I'm going to do here is just going to try and dig over to that area, so we can then build like a little room where we can place our farm pot. Sorry, and then we can knock down the walls and make the land wet, basically. Because if we make it wet, the plants will grow not only grow quicker, but they'll grow more efficiently. So I'll just let them mine that out, as you can see there. Now I'm going to make a little room, I'm not going to make it too big. Because I've already got one farm, I don't need to make it too big. I'll just let them mine that out. Off they go. Almost done, there we go, brilliant. Okay, now farm plots, uh, you build them in the same way as a building. You build them almost in the same way as a stockpile as well, really. But they are almost essentially like a stockpile. To build a farm plot, we just need to press B, and then we need to go down to P for farm plot, not F. Um, Placement works via the U and M keys for height, and for the width, it's K and H. So obviously U makes it bigger, M makes it smaller, K makes it wider, oh no, no, H makes it wider, I'm afraid, I'm sorry about that. That's maybe, yeah, there we go, we'll make it that big. And then all you do is just press enter to do it. You need to make sure someone's got the farming skill in order to actually have a farm in the first place. If you haven't got someone who hasn't got the farming skill, then the farm won't be built. You can see there our farms come along. It's quite simple, he just walks down. And there we go, the entire thing's done. Give him a second, up he goes. Now we're going to make a hole in that wall there. We're going to make it in that wall, not the bigger one you can see to the top. This is because that's too much water up there. We don't need that much. So what you do is you just let the water kind of come out now and it'll make the ground kind of wet and fertile. We need to wait for the water really to dry off. You can, if you if you by accident, actually start putting stuff down for your uh, on your farm plot, sorry, it, before you put the water on, so before you mine out a little hole, what will happen is um, the plants won't actually disappear, so don't worry about that too much. But it's best to wait really until you've fertilised the land. Now, in order to, so in order to, we need to actually block that hole up again. This will stop rainwater coming in because that is basically like a pond. It also stop enemies coming in. We don't want enemies to come in through the back door, basically. So we need to put a wall there. 
um, which I'm going to do with it's capital C on the buildings menu and we're just going to place a wall where it doesn't really matter what we make it of now sometimes dwarves get stuck so we've got to be careful here um, it's a bit annoying when they do that but we'll see uh, some dwarf should come along I think it's the carpenter I think or it might be an architect I'm not entirely sure but the farm plot okay now it's pretty much ready so yeah let's go for that now ignore the Z, the F, the FT and the S all we need is A, B, C, D and this corresponds to the season now all we need to do, it's really simple you just go to the season you want so we're going to start with spring and then all you do is use the plus and minus keys to move about and you just press enter on the type of plant you want to sow or plant I should say so we're going to just do plump helmets for most of them I think so and then we go to summer obviously you get different types of plant in each season certain ones can't be planted in certain times of the year um, but we've got quite a lot of plump helmets so but I'll just, we might have some dimple cups maybe so if and then we're going to do plump helmets for the last one if we have dimple cups they'll plant dimple cups if they don't then nothing will be planted I don't know if it comes... oh there he goes, at least he didn't get hit and go on the wrong side and now we just wait for our farmer to come along and he should start, he should get the seeds from this warehouse, sorry the stock room we've got there and then he'll come down and he'll plant the uh, seeds I'm just going to do some other things as well, just to expand our fortress a bit. I've built another carpenter's workshop there. Basically, this is because we have actually got two carpenters, so this means we can get things done more efficiently and quickly. The, we really need some barrels at the moment in order to store some more alcohol, because you could see just before that the brewery wasn't brewing anything, because we didn't have any barrels to store the alcohol in. We also need some other bits and bobs, some beds, some stools, some, uh, chairs, etc. I'm also going to expand the stock room there. You can see I've built a little bit extra. I'm just going to go into the custom one again. It's going to be exactly the same. So it's enter and enter again. There we go. It's quite simple. And we can see our farmer there. He's just planted some plants there in the top left. As you can see we haven't got the other carpenter in the other workshop yet but someone should come along in a second hopefully I'll make some meals. Meals, you tend to use meat for meals um, you also use plants and stuff, you need a chef in order to do that I think I'll dig out some more room that we already have already. Um, basically I'm just going to dig out some room bedrooms now which we're going to use to place, we're going to put some beds in there, um, we're going to put some other things in there etc. This is where the dwarves can sleep and they can spend, some, some of them spend most of their time there, some of them spend most of the time in the uh, meeting hall depending if they've got jobs to do or not just going to place a few more tables bedrooms generally have to make them quite big because dwarves especially if they're nobles or or they, they have an office they generally expect large bedrooms and more things in their bedrooms so I like to make them large to begin with give them a bit more space so we can for example build a dining room if they want a dining room I'll show you bedrooms at a later date. I just need to let them build some beds, etc., and doors.
Okay, we'll give, try and give him a few more jobs because we want to make sure they're at all, we've got all our dwarves, especially early on in the game, make sure they're all doing something. Okay, our stock room now is been, is pretty full, I should say. Um, so we need another stock room, really. Oh yes, we also had some migrants. I'm sorry to mention we didn't mention that. Migrants, some more migrants arrived. We actually had another miner, which is pretty good. Um, we also had some other ones that had some skills. The thing is, remember with migrants. Just because it says if you press K and then you view what skills they've got doesn't necessarily mean that they actually have that skill assigned. So that's why I went to Dwarf Therapist. I've got to look to see if they've actually got that skill assigned. So that's a very important thing to see. Needs a bigger stock room, which I'm going to build hopefully as well. The farm down there is going quite nicely as well. I'm also going to build a butchery because we need to kill some animals because we're running low on meat. So we need a butcher. I think we need some more wood as well. And some more plants. No, we don't need some more wood actually. We're okay for wood. Uh, we just need a bigger stock room really. The bedrooms are still going nicely. Not too much left there. The stone I find quite annoying, so I tend to make a stock room outside of our fortress, like actually in the open air, to put all the stone in, because I really, it's a bit of personal, I don't like seeing all that stone lying about. It's probably just me, but I don't like it. And we can probably put the butchery in there now. So it's the same thing, it's, the, it's under um, workshops, I believe. Yeah, it should be in the workshops. So if we go to workshops, and then it'd be uh, butchery or butchers, I think. Uh, butchers shop, that's it. And then you just place it like all the other buildings, and then we just wait for the butcher to come along. And we do have a butcher there. You can see there, so that's good. Oh, look, we have a trade caravan who's actually arrived. Now trade caravans what they'll do is they'll come into our trade depot which is exciting stuff. I may actually leave that until next time so I can leave that a bit of a cliffhanger for you, a bit of a treat next time. Trade works, it's a bit complicated but it's alright, it's not too bad. You generally have to make sure the stuff you want you've got to make sure you've got what they want as well in return. Um, this is why things like craft dwarfs, men, ships, uh, workshops are good. Um, but until then, I'll see you later.